So when you're setting up a guitar, I'm making an L formation here. So I'm gonna stake the bottom back corner out a little bit, and then have a lip for me to lay down on, sit down, so I'm off out of the cold snow. So, but I'm making little spikes, and I've learned that sometimes you can time down with the string. We're getting a nice little sapling. I like to uh, have a little spike on it. And then see these two little guys? They were great for holding the grommets in. So that's a good spike right there. Holds my stakes in. So I can make a couple out of them just out of this little guy right here. So hold my stakes down. Nice. Fresh. Yeah. So, set up the tarp shelter. I said I wanted to do an L shape formation. Worked out really good. <laughs> I'm going to show you me falling out of my hammock. It's pretty funny. So, I didn't set the hammock up, but really all I did was lay it down over the top of the string, picked a couple dead tree branches, stuck them in the ground to keep my raised up the top, and you know, if I need to, all I got to do is break this stick off and stab it right into the ground and then I can actually close off the shelter so um, let's go take a better look on the inside uh -huh. there's home so took a bunch of sticks to keep our roof up and uh, when it's time to actually go to bed if you want undo these little guys break it snap it right into the ground and you'll close off the actual hole to the shelter so this took me Gosh, I was kind of going slow because you don't want to sweat, but I set this up in little than over four minutes. Tie a knot, tie a knot, open up the tarp, stick, stick, stick. I already have those lines taut, and then I throw my bag in, and uh, steak, 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 which are just little pieces that I picked up off the ground. So, pretty sweet in here. I got uh, first layer, obviously. Then that plastic sheet that I was talking about put down, and then I figured I'd put this uh, canvas piece down to give me a little extra warmth. But, uh, beautiful inside. And, uh, take a look at my front yard. Sun. Oh, what is that? Tripod. Alright, so, here we are inside. Straight chilling. The sun is beautiful. I think uh, you know, I talked about taking a nap earlier today in my hammock, but honestly, it's not that uncomfortable on the ground. And uh, oh, I'm just so disappointed with that hammock. It's got mosquito nets on it, so it's for more summertime. I mean, there's no thermal. <laughs> I would freeze uh, if I didn't have an underbag. But, uh, Alright, so the next objective now, gotta get some wood, cause it's time to eat. So, I have to say, my original experiment, um, where I wanted to try the three different gloves, like the snow gloves for walking, and uh, tying up the knots, I used the fingerless gloves, and now I got my rubbers on, haha, <laughs> but tell you the truth, Forgetting sticks and breaking stuff, you don't want to scrap up and get your actual walking gloves or your warm gloves wet ever. And uh, these can get a little wet and it won't actually affect them unless you get the back wet. And as far as the other ones for the knots, man, setting up camp, I used the other ones. Um, to bring three different gloves on a survival thing, well, when it's six degrees outside, your hands are really important. You could definitely get away with it. But my bag wasn't that light. I mean, shoot, my bag wasn't even that heavy. All right, so let's check it out. So, get close to my camp. We've got uh, firewood that I collected. The gloves really worked because uh, sticks suck. 